Hey everybody, it's Dr. Smith here from Accomplished Health and Wellness. And it is so rainy here. It's like getting me down. <laughs> and I, um, it's been raining here for like a week. And yesterday it didn't rain. And it was kind of nice and sunny out. And then it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. Uh, anyways, um, that's not what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about um, lavender oil. All right, so um, I have had a lot of stress lately, right? And um, of course you didn't know that, but now I told you, I've had a lot of stress lately. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of things that you can use for stress. Xanax, Ativan, lavender oil. <laughs> and I would so much rather use the lavender oil than the other stuff. Um, and so my bottle is um, getting kind of low because I've used a lot of it lately. So I just wanted to talk about this loveliness. I love to smell it. It smells so lovely. And um, I put it on myself and I smell lovely. <laughs> and I'm also less stressed. So that's always good, right? So anyways, lavender is from the um, genus, uh, it's lam lam Lamiaceae. It's a hard one to say. Lamiaceae, and it's a genus of 39 species actually in the mint family. Isn't that interesting? I mean, who thought that lavender was in the mint family, but it is. And, um, and so the parts that are used are the flowering tops and the leaves, and they are used to make teas and oils and um, all kinds of different uh, things, um, herbs and, and everything, all kinds of stuff. And um, there's lots of therapeutic properties to lavender, which I think is really neat because you can use it all kinds of different ways. And so um, one is that it is antimicrobial. So that means that it will fight against bacteria, fungus, um, viruses as well. So just um, that's kind of cool. And you can also use it as like an antiseptic or disinfectant. So how lovely would your house smell if it was like you were cleaning with this? And then um, actually uh, Young Living, so this is Young Living's lavender. Young Living has another one called Thieves and um, Thieves has like a cleaning solution too. So you could like mix it and it would be so lovely smelling. Oh my goodness. I, I think I might do that at my house actually. It's also an anti-inflammatory and it will speed healing and um, also reduce scarring. So if you have like a cut that's already, um, you know, uh, covered over with some of the new skin, you can start putting this on it. Otherwise with the raw skin, it's kind of, it stings. I'm just gonna be honest, it stings. Um, but if it's kind of already covered um, and scabbed and stuff, you could start putting this on it and it'll help it heal faster and it'll also reduce the scarring, so that's kind of cool. It also, obviously, um, this is why I've been using it a lot lately, it reduces um, tension, nervous tension and stress tension, also muscle tension, right? So, you know, it's all rainy out, and uh, there's not a lot of fun things to do when it's rainy out. I mean, you can sit there and read a book, which I love to read books, I love mysteries, um, and funny books, too, I like to laugh and you can cuddle and you can give each other a massage with lavender oil right and it'll help with some of that muscle tension it also will boost your mood so if you're feeling a little down in the dumps because it's rainy out then you can put this on and it'll relieve your stress and boost your mood so that's nice too um, it also helps stimulate your circulatory system um, it will ha help you with sleep too so you know I'm one of those that when I have a lot of stress going on, I tend to wake up in the middle of the night. I usually don't have any trouble getting to sleep, but it's more like I wake up in the middle of the night and then I fester and stew over things. And so, um, you know, when I catch myself doing that, I actually get up and I'll put this on um, and then I usually can get back to sleep um, because it does help in um, with sleep. It relaxes you and helps you to get back to sleep and it also helps with um, getting into a deeper sleep. It also stimulates and supports your immune system. So, you know, that kind of um, goes back to being like that antiviral, antifungal, um, antibacterial, you know, uh, thing, parts of it. So it can help boost your immune system if you're sick. 
the one thing is that um, so with this one this is um, see how it has like the purple label and then the name is down here in, in kind of just written on the bottle um, whereas like this one has a white label and this is thieves and then um, the thieves part is in brown and then underneath it it actually has like a part which I could get it to show you really well it says vitality under there I know you can't see it very well but if it says vi vitality remember you can ingest it so this one doesn't say vitality so this one you can't ingest so if you are wanting to ingest it for like helping with your immune system and stuff what you would want to do is do one of the teas so and you can get those like at the grocery store and stuff um, the teas can cause headache and constipation just so you know boost your immune system you might get a headache or constipation um, so there's that um, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding you only want to use this externally you do not want to um, ingest it okay um, the oil is used for external use right and diffusing and um, it can also make you sun sensitive just so that you know um, so the um, sorry I had to catch something uh, anyways the um, if you're so if you get some if you use this externally and you're out in the sun a lot you'll want to wear some sunscreen um, and so just kind of a side note on the whole sunscreen thing right so when you go out and it's sunny out not raining but when it's sunny out and you go out you should actually go out for like 10 or 15 minutes a day to soak up some of those sun's rays like we're always covered with clothes and everything and um, we don't get enough sun and so we need to get some of that sun so our skin can convert um, the vitamin D into its active form so that we can use it. So you get some of that sun, that vitamin D activation from your sun, right? So 15 minutes and then you go inside and you put your sunscreen on. And if you're using your lavender oil, lavender oil you want to make sure you're putting your sunscreen on because you'll get sun sensitivity. And when you're doing sunscreen, really, guys, I know this is a side, side topic, but... Um, SPF 30 or more okay nothing less none of those suntan screen sun tanning oils okay that's not even sunscreen all right so let's move on how to use these to help us with all those um, things that we were just talking about so if you want to help with your sleep what you can do is you can diffuse this in your room um, and then you can also rub it on your feet and pillow at night and that will help promote relaxation and deeper sleep. I oftentimes will put like a drop in my hand, just one drop even, because you don't need a lot. And then I rub it like this, and then I actually will rub it on my head, my face like that, and on my neck. And then I actually will take three inhalations of it. I just breathe it in three times. And then I rub my hands, and sometimes I'll rub it on my feet if I have any left. But um, a lot of times I don't. It's supposed to get into your system a little bit faster if you rub it into your feet. Um, I want it to, you know, help me sleep right away, so I rub it close to my head. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so if you have the sniffles, you know, we were talking about helping boost that immune system. Um, you can diffuse it, or you can also um, apply it topically. But you can also drink it. You just can't use the oil to drink it. You have to do a tea okay and you can't make a tea and put the oil in it no it's a lavender tea that you can get at the store they have a bunch of different kinds of lavender teas so um, there's like jasmine and lavender there's um, lavender by itself there's some other ones that have lavender in. so just look for those if you want to do a tea but um, otherwise you can diffuse or topically use um, for skin, remember we um, were talking about helps heal skin a little bit quicker. So if you have like chafing, all right. So in the winter, a lot of times I get chafing, especially if you get if you're exercising and stuff, and you're wearing different clothes and they fit a little bit differently, and you can get some chafing or just like the the dry air, you know, that makes me get chafing sometimes. And so you can mix this with some kind of carrier oil, like coconut oil. And then and you just put a few drops in there, mix it up, and then you can put it on your skin to help soothe those um, skin irritations from like the weather and activity and stuff. Um, stress. Remember? Oh my gosh, stress. We all have stress. 
life is stressful. Let's face it. So you can diffuse this, um, which I've done that a lot lately, um, but you can also um, put it on topically to help you relax your muscles and ease tension. You could do this as a massage. Like if you're in a relationship and you need some closeness and stuff, hello, massages are great to bring people close. And do a little lavender oil and it cuts all the stress and tension. And then some kisses at the end. I just threw it. Okay, anyways, um, lashes and hair. So you um, can actually put a few drops in your uh, mascara and then put your mascara on and it'll help your lashes grow. You can also put a few drops in your conditioner um, at night, you, you know, like whenever you're wearing, I, I shower at night, but you might do it in the morning. So um, whenever, you can just put some drops in your conditioner and mix it all in and then um, put it in your hair and it'll help promote hair growth and um, healthier hair. You can also put some in your hand if you have dandruff and you can rub it and then you can um, like just massage it into your scalp, right? And that will help to um, support a healthy scalp and hopefully decrease some of that dandruff, okay? And help your hair grow. It's like two for the price of one. Um, baths. Okay, so I already told you I'm a shower person. I'm not a bath person. But if you are a bath person, you can mix this, like um, mix a few drops with a cup of Epsom salts and then put it in your bath. And it's like lavender, take me away instead of, you know, Calgon. It's lavender, take me away. Um, and then you can just don't fall asleep in the bathtub. That's never good, okay? Um, laundry. All right, we're always looking for something safe to put in our laundry that makes our laundry smell good. So, you know those wool balls? Like, there's a lot of people that are using those now, and you can use them multiple times, those wool balls. And um, so, you can get one, and then you can put a few drops of lavender oil on it and throw it in the dryer, and it'll make your laundry smell so lovely. If you don't want to do that, you can also just put a few drops on like a cloth, like a washcloth or something, and throw it in the dryer too. And that'll work just as well, okay? So you don't, you know, we all have washcloths. You can just throw that in. Oh, and then the last one that I want to talk about is smooth lips, okay? I love smooth lips. Like, I hate it when my lips get all rough and stuff. I mean, who wants to kiss rough lips, okay? Right. It, nobody. Um, so drink lots of water. Lots, and that'll help your lips all be nice and um, soft. But then also you can mix this actually with a carrier oil and um, a, like a drop of lavender with some carrier oil. And you can actually make chapsticks with this. You can mix it up and then you just put it on your lips and it'll help your lips to be beautiful and lovely, soft, kissable lips. And then you can do whatever else you want, um, your lipstick or whatever. Anyways. So that's all I want to talk about about lavender oil. I will put all of this information into the um, comment or the description, sorry, into the description so that you can remember how to use it. And then um, I will also put in a link there if you want to purchase any Young Living lavender oil from me. That would be great. Um, if you don't and you just want to hear more about essential oils as I go along, then please subscribe to my um, site, my tube, YouTube page. That way you can get all the future videos, not just of essential oils, but all the other stuff that we talk about, nutrition, diet, um, healthy living, uh, some medical topics, osteopathic adjustments. I mean, all of that is yours. All you have to do is like and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, please, please, please don't hesitate to ask. And hopefully um, I will be doing, I mean, not hopefully, but I will be doing another video on the essential oil stuff coming soon so you can um, keep watching. And um, it's Friday, so we are all looking forward to the weekend. So I hope you guys all have a great, lovely weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.